Okay, today is October 17th, 2014. It is 3.13 p.m. Calling Rice County Attorney Paul Bowmaster. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Well, I'm doing super. Can't complain on a beautiful, sunshiny day like today. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> <It's> so nice. <laughs> Anyhow, is uh, Mr. Uh, Bowmaster in today? Oh, I can check out who's calling. This is Terry Nemers, Amazon Nancy, E, Amazon Mary, Amazon Mary, E R S. It's a uh, having some problems with one of his staff. Uh, got trying to rip me off on some data. Oh, okay. Um, one moment, okay. Thank you. Hello, is this Mr. Bowmaster? Yes. This is Terry Nemers. How are you doing today? Good. Well, that's good. Say, I submitted a data request to your sheriff, uh, Dunn, on October 10th, 2014. I asked for the uh, policy and procedure manual for the sheriff's department, the jail policy, or the jail handbook, uh, a copy of the uh, Rice County uh, personnel handbook, and a copy of the data practice manual um, and this is all electronic data that you have in your possession so it, it should have just been you know just emailed to me in fact I submitted a similar data request to uh, the Fairbolt uh, city administrator and on the same day and on the 13th I received all my data well minus the uh, data practice manual apparently they aren't uh, following the law and have their own data practice manual. But anyhow, uh, less trouble, but I received this instead on the 13th from your office. I received this disturbing email from a, a Meredith Erickson. It says, Dear Mr. Nemmer, actually my name is Nemmers, I am in receipt of your request for copies of the Rice County Personnel Manual, the Rice County Jail Policy and Procedure Manual, the Rice County Data Practices Manual, the Rice County Sheriff's Policy and Procedure Manual. They are available for copying at a cost of 25 cents per page. Upon receipt of your check for $229, that would be 916 pages, the documents will be mailed to you. If you prefer, you may review these documents for free of charge at my office located at 218 Northwest 3rd Street, Faribault, Minnesota, 55. 021 and then it's signed Meredith A. Erickson Rice County Responsible Authority 218 Northwest 3rd Street, Faribault, Minnesota 55021 Now um, the really disturbing part is I put the state statute in there which says if you have this information at, at, um, in the in electronic format that all you have to do is just email it to me. So I never said that I wanted to review this information. I never said I wanted this information printed out and mailed to me. Uh, I wanted this information emailed to me. So uh, apparently your, uh, and I checked, I think if I'm correct, this Meredith Erickson is your chief uh, deputy prosecutor? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Anyhow, apparently she's trying to defraud me out of $229 uh, for free electronic data because I don't know if, uh, well, I, I, in fact, I'm very well aware that you cannot email a piece of paper. So in my request specifically asked for emailed information. And I'm also... I don't know that we have that electronically. Do you have computers in your office? 
we also have paper manuals in our office too. Okay, well that's not. I have books. I have lots of paper. Good. Well, I'm well aware that the um, the courts require you to have all sorts of your information in electronic format. In fact, their ex uh, uh, PDF format is what the courts require, and that's been since 2013. So, uh, uh, I, no, it depends on what it is and what county you're in. Here in Rice County, we haven't moved to the digital filings yet. We are going to be doing that in the upcoming year. Well, actually, the courts required it for civil cases back in 2013. You have, I'm sure you're, you're, you are referring to criminal cases, but I'm sure that if I look through it's a no, new... The court administrator hasn't been able to accept things yet electronically. Okay, well, the thing is, I'm sure if I search through your uh, case files on the Minnesota Public Access, I'm sure I'll find uh, some cases that you've electronically filed. So I guess I should have done that so we can avoid this little... No, what happens is we file, we file the paper, and I think what they're doing now is scanning in our stuff. Okay, well, I, I actually I don't really care how it happens. The The point oh, is... Well, I thought you were... Uh, well, uh, the the thing is, you're you're being ridiculous, so I'm not going to entertain that, you know, anymore. So, the the point is, unless you've, uh, you know, typed these out on a typewriter, then it's the reasonable assumption or reasonable suspicion that you have uh, used your computers to print out these manuals. So, you know, I, I'm not going to I'm not going to have you well, waste. I don't doubt somebody did. I I just don't know that we have control of it. Well, again, I'm not going to let you insult my intelligence, you know, Mr. Bowmaster. I'm trying to have an intelligent conversation with you. So uh, the thing is, uh, this is a. Well, I didn't mean that as an insult. I'm, I'm not sure what what your issue is. Well, That's my I, my I, issue I, is you have this information in electronic format. All you need to do is email it to me. I do not appreciate someone trying to misrepresent themselves because I do believe that's a violation of a attorney's law license, and so I have absolutely I don't, no... I don't see, when, when you make like those vague references, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Which vague reference are you speaking of? You just said somebody misrepresenting themselves or something. Oh, oh excuse me, I will be specific. Meredith Erickson misrepresenting this bill for $229 as... Uh, well, the bill's not her, you said misrepresenting herself. Well, yes, that she. Okay, if you want to play little word games, we can we no, can do that I'm too. I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Oh, and okay. I coming back and then saying you, I'm trying to be the one that's not clear. It, it's not me. It's it's you. What what is okay, the are, are, you are you, she sent you? Are you capable of tracking a conversation? I know I am. So the thing is, I contacted you. Well, and I, I told let's, you. Let's start over. Okay, that's I, fine. You contacted me. You, I, I get you made a data practices request. Yes. My understanding that it was responded to, but that you didn't want to pay for the copying. Well, why would videos. I? Why would I pay for uh, you to cop, print out this information off your computer, then scan it, uh, then you know, and then uh, put it in an envelope and mail it to me? When all you need I'm to do is saying I don't know that we're printing it off our computer. Okay. I think we would be taking it to a copy machine and copying it. Oh, okay. Because so uh, somehow magically, it this information appeared on two pieces of paper. Then, right? Is that what you're trying to say? Because how did how did the how, who created the policy and procedure manual? So, you know, I have no idea. I don't even know what manuals you're talking about. Well, I already listed them. I read the the email well, from. I know, but I don't know. I don't know who has the actual manuals. <laughs> I don't know who created. Uh, 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 I mean, you're, you're acting like I did. Well, the thing is, you're the attorney for the county, correct? Yes, are, are you yeah. are you competent to speak on this Tom, conversation? Well, last I looked, nobody was committing me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. A anyhow, the, the thing is, there's $229, a fraudulent bill for $229 from your uh, chief... Uh, Deputy Attorney. Okay, uh, have, have I made well, myself? Have, it's not a bill unless you want a copy of it. Oh, no, 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 no. I want the free electronic data that all you need to do is attach to an email and send to me. 
the thing is, you think that I'm stupid. I have submitted dead... I've never thought you were stupid or said anything to that effect. Well, obviously this bill for $229 presumes I'm incredibly stupid. The thing is, I've submitted data requests from one end of the state to the other, and I've received these kind of fraudulent bills from some from company or from counties who have something to hide. Just like I said, I received similar data from the city of Faribault the same day that I received this fraudulent bill for two hundred twenty-nine dollars. There was no fraudulent bill. Electronically, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen the I don't know game before. The thing is, you're well, well you're well aware. Here's the thing. What is it that you want? Well, I okay. I've already explained you it. You want to me to, to go talk to somebody about getting it digitalized for you? I mean, we'll, we'll certainly do that if that's what you would like. It might cost you more, though. Uh, well, first of all, the thing is, you're playing these little retarded games on a phone conversation that I am recording, and I have a very well, long history of. I'm glad you're recording it because you're not being clear as to what is it that you're asking of me. Uh, no. You've now talked for about 10 minutes and haven't gotten to the point. Well, I'm, I made my point immediately that I want you to stop illegally withholding no, my information no, and no, email me. You, you have not made your point. I still haven't picked up your point. If you have, I apologize. Uh, no. What, you, what is your point? See, what you're trying to do is provoke me to anger so I say something so you can I'm, charge me with it. No, See, I'm provoking you to say what is it you want. I'm trying to uh, help you. I don't understand what no. you're asking of me. Uh, well, obviously, obviously you're playing these little retarded games. You know perfectly no, well what I want. You're going back to that again. Uh, could, you, could you just state what is it you want from me? I want you to email me the data that you're illegally withholding from me. That's simple. You're trying to and, charge and again, me. I told you, I don't know that I have that electronically or not. Um, if uh, you talk to Meredith Erickson, she might be able to explain where it is electronically. Oh, so... Have you called her? Have uh, yeah, Actually, I did. I left a message. Obviously, you know about it. <laughs> no, I didn't know about it. How would I know you left Meredith Erickson a message? Well, you have constructive knowledge of it. Obviously, that's why you're playing these little retarded games here. You know, you keep saying uh, little retarded games, and I'm not appreciating that because I, I really have tried to be very patient with you and listen to what you're saying, but you have not yet told me what you want me to do. You've been invited in. Why don't you come in and look at this stuff, and then you can decide, you know, if you want it or not. Or you can say to Meredith, if you get her to call you back or call her back, and say, you know, why can't I get this electronically? And if she says, because we don't have it electronically, again, you can come in and look at what you want. We're not hiding anything. Oh, well. From what you told me, the letter says you can come look at it. Uh, is, she, is Meredith the boss, or boss? Or are you the boss? Well, <laughs> what does that have to do with whether she has it electronically or not? Well, it has everything to do with it because uh, she gets her power from your uh, appoint your election into the office of county attorney. It's so not magical power to make stuff digital. Oh, so I, I don't have that power. So. Oh, so in other words, you're telling me that someone typed it off a typewriter and then it's just sitting there. Or you've had a policy and procedure it's manual for 20 years. Usually, I, I have lots of books here on my desk. I, I can't tell you if it's on Joe Smith's computer or Mike Smith's computer. Oh, so I don't know. You have no idea. It, you, you asked us for a disclosure Ooh. and it was made available to you or if you want a copy of it. No, I want the copy that's on your computer that you all you have to do is attach I, to your email I, and email to well, me. That's I simple. Tell you, I don't know if there's a copy, and I guess that's the short answer to your question. I don't know that there's a copy on anyone's computer in my office. Oh, you don't know? You, so you're unaware? You've never used your computer? Are you I have used my computer. Oh, I know it's not on mine. If that's what you're asking, I can give you a quick answer there. Oh, okay. None of those things are on my computer. Not even the personnel handbook for the county, huh? I would, no. I would think the I, boy. I would think that the county attorney would be, you know, if there's a problem, needs some sort of I, investigation. I, I have a written copy. I could pull it off the shelf down for you if you want. Oh, okay. And okay. If you want to come look at it with me, you're more than welcome to. But again, I, I don't know what you're asking me to do. 
Well, I want you to stop playing your little retarded game. That's what I'm saying. Well, I w- see, you're going back to that same statement again, and I'm not sure what that means. I'm not playing any games with you. Yeah, I, I've... You keep coming back to that, but whenever I ask you for a specific what action would you like out of me, other than magically making a hard copy into a digital copy, I don't know what to tell you. Right. Right. No, it, it's real simple. Unless you can prove to me that you only have typewriters there, and someone typed out the policy and procedure manual for the sheriff's department, and the personnel handbook for the county, and the data practice manual for the county, and the jail handbook for the county, then the presumption is that you have computers that printed all this information out. That's simple. Because you admitted that you have computers there. Oh, there you go. See? I don't know what format anything would be in that would be digitally transferred to anybody. Right. See, that's that, see, that's the part I don't believe you. Well, I'm not an IT person. If you could call our IT department. They might be able to tell you. Well, let's see. That's your job. Obviously, you don't know anything. I, I'm surprised. How would you even know to contact your IT people? And surprising. Well, I have their number. Would you like that? No, 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 no. See, you're the boss. It's your job to look up this information, but see, so you wanna and you wanna so run right. me around the merry-go-round it's twenty times. No merry-go-round. You're the one who keeps running from one subject to the next. You're yeah. the one that keeps trying to move from one issue to the next. When all I've been asking you is, what do you want me to do? Give yeah. me what action you want me to do. Uh, if you want to come in and have a conversation with Meredith about digital versus hard copy, you're more than welcome to do that. She's the designated person for the release of data practices information. Now, if you want to debate whether, you know, the bill should be, you know, X per page or Y per page, that's set by the county board. And that's done at our annual meetings each year. So I'm not sure if it's the price that you're upset about or the invitation to come in and look at it that you're upset about or that you want us to scan it in and then send it to you, and again, I think that would cost more money. So, are you done? I, mean, I really, really enjoyed your retarded spiel there. See, the reality is... You, you go back to the name calling and everything now, and, and that I really don't understand, because I, I've really been trying to help you in asking you what you want, and you continue to name call and move from one issue to the next without telling me what it is you want. Well, see, the thing is, it's actually not name-calling, it's calling identification. Are you, do you know the difference between a logical fallacy and a dictionary definition? See, that's, that's simple, because you're wasting my time with this little retarded spiel because you know and admitted that you have a computer there. You didn't say that you type your reports on typewriters there, so no one, you've never provided any proof that you use typewriters to create these policy and procedure manuals. Your standard answer is, boy, I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. See? But I do know. See, I know, I know you're lying to me, you've been lying to me, and you're continuing to lying to me. See, so that's the reality of the situation. I, see, I'm not stupid enough to believe your lies. That's simple. See, you're hoping that I am, and I'm not. See, so email me my data, stop wasting my time, stop insulting my intelligence, and stop illegally withholding public information, because I will report you. Simple. I don't believe I've insulted you. I don't believe that I got your email. Um, did you send me something? Uh, well, I received something from your chief deputy, so obviously you received it. Well, Well, did she is she the county attorney or are you? Well, you know, she has a caseload and I have a caseload. And that didn't answer my question. Didn't ask for me. When I think what, who you really want to talk to is Meredith, and I by all means invite you to talk with her. No. To discuss. No, I'm talking to the boss. Issue you want to with her, um, but I don't think she meant to insult you. Of course she did. I'm certain she didn't send you anything that was fraudulent. Of course she did. Well, of course, you're going to defend her because obviously she no, did what you told. Me. You're the one who told me it. I, she didn't. Oh, I just, what you have described to me, there's nothing fraudulent about what she sent you. You well, don't like it. It's not what you wanted to hear. It's 
not in the you know context that you wanted to have information provided to you, and you have an expectation that I don't know if it's realistic or not. And I don't know what we charge for electronic transfers. I mean, Meredith, uh, I don't know if she was talking to you about that or not. I mean, there, I, I'm assuming those are copy costs for a hard copy. Well, it's amazing how you can transfer things. Things so you know, you, everything is typewritten, you know. Uh, so do you hook up your, your scanner to the typewriter? Uh, I'm just trying to figure this out. Because apparently the only thing that the only thing that's missing well I, it goes right along with all the nonsense you've been speaking of. See, uh, apparently well, I, I've been see, trying to understand you and every time I try to get you to focus, you bounce off to another direction. Yeah, well this is called gaslighting is what you're doing now. I've seen it before. Called you, what? A gaslighting? It's a it's a uh, technical term. I, you know, I it's have it's no it, idea what that means. Well, the thing is, what you do is you try to uh, call into question my sanity, you know, because obviously I don't know I, what the, I don't know I what I'm talking about. Your sanity once. Well, of course not, because you, uh, obviously I don't know that your modern office, you know, you, and you, you know, where does where do these policy and procedure manuals come from? Obviously, a chicken must have laid them or something, because magically they they've appeared there. And, you know, they're, they're on pieces of paper. Well, I'm sure that you took your computer and you printed them out on your printer. See? And that's usually what most people do. You know, so they have a hard copy hanging around because they don't want to stir up their computer to look up something, which is fine. But see, obviously, it was created on a computer. See? So, well, tell me, you must have a, a typewriter sitting on your, on your desk then. So what's the make and model of your typewriter sitting on your desk then? I have a computer sitting at my desk. Well, there you go. See, so then the the reasonable reasonable suspicion is that you have policy and procedure manuals that are created on your computer, not typewriters. You didn't I, say you have a typewriter sitting there. So you, know, you you keep coming back to your suspicions, and what I've invited you to do is contact Mira directly. Which is not going. I already did. I already did. Your suspicions with her. No, and I'm discussing with the boss. To either no. Like, I'm sorry, I missed that. I said no. I, I'm not going to drive a hundred some miles to, you know, have my oh. intelligence insulted by you in person. Of course, if I did, I'd bring a camera well, along I, so I could. I have never tried to insult your intelligence. I haven't said anything derogatory towards you. And quite frankly, you're the one who's been, you know, insulting and degrading towards myself and my staff. So I, all I could suggest that you do is contact Meredith and not gonna happen. those questions that you have about how much it would cost to get it electronically. Um, not going to happen. Here, I don't know. I don't appreciate your passive aggressive behavior. That's simple. Obviously, you think you have rights and I don't. So you're you're wasting my time. You're insulting my intelligence I'm not with this. To waste your well, of course. Here and ask for me. Yes, I, I asked for an intelligent conversation. I'm getting retarded nonsense. That's simple. Formatted document. I, I guess you know that's up to you to to work that out. No, it's but your job. You you're the like you're the other county attorney. You're the elected like official, the not Meredith. What's that? Said you are the elected official, not Meredith. You're just wasting my she time. Is the designated data I, I don't care. She, you are the county attorney. Board, right, you board, are the county the attorney. The authority to release information. You are the county attorney. Simple. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, that's right. Good. So you have authority over Meredith. You tell Meredith to send me my information. Stop trying to defraud me out of $229 and send me my information. That's real simple. I will, I will pass your message on to her. Thank you. But I would suggest that you come in or... No, it's not going to happen. No. About no. W well, no. All right. Thank you for wasting my time. You have a good weekend. You too. Yep, bye. bye.